Another incident of mass shooting has been reported from the United States, this time from the state of Maryland, where a shooter opened fire at a manufacturing unit in the Smithsburg's town. According to the initial reports, at least three people died and a few people have been injured, while the suspect and a police official were wounded in the shootout. Authorities say that the suspect opened fire at the Columbia Machinings factory in which three people have now died before the shooter fled from the scene of crime. Later, the suspect was tracked down in a vehicle by police authorities. The suspect and a police official were wounded in an exchange of gunfire and as of now, both individuals are getting medical treatment. Gun violence is becoming a common occurrence across America. The country is still recovering from a series of devastating mass shootings which happened in a span of a month. One such incident, a racist rampage, was carried out at a supermarket in Buffalo, New York, where 13 people were shot at, out of which 10 died. And then a massacre took place at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas, where 19 children and two teachers were killed. And after that, a shooting took place inside a medical building in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where four people were killed. The most recent mass shooting happened in a parking lot at a church in Iowa, where two people were killed. All these incidents have now led the U.S. House to pass a gun control bill. The bill will raise the minimum age of purchasing certain firearms to 21 years from 18 years as well. And it will also toughen the prohibitions on untraceable guns. However, the bill has very slim chances of being passed in the Senate. Over. Now, to discuss the ramifications of this, our correspondent Susan Tehrani is now joining us live from New York. Susan, thanks for joining us. Another mass shooting, gun violence continues unabated across the U.S. This, even as the U.S. House has passed so to speak, a wide-ranging gun control bill, which has very slim chances of being passed. I think what everyone wants to know at this point is what can be done to curb gun terror? Right. Uh, so uh, gun, gun violence usually really goes on the rise during the summer months across the United States. But this year it has really... Uh, been higher than previous years and it is uh, due to surpass possibly uh, last year as well. As you mentioned, the House is uh, very ambitious in pa uh, hoping to uh, pass uh, you know, these universal gun laws that uh, many Democrats that uh, are trying to pass it even know will not get past the Senate. However, now there is discussion that because of what happened at that elementary school in Ovalde, Texas, and to an extent what happened uh, in Buffalo, uh, the Senate will possibly act on some sort of federal gun legislation, which will have more to do with the actions of individuals, notably regarding uh, more access uh, more resources for mental health, um, these red flag laws which 18 states have right now, perhaps that can be expanded. And also, uh, again, you know, because Ovaldi was, um, you know, children were involved, uh, school safety also uh, is on the table at the Senate as well. When it comes to more wide background checks, uh, you know, that's something that uh, is on the table as well. But, you know, that's something that is a state issue. A lot of states do have uh, background checks when you know purchasing of firearms uh, the states still do have the authority to pass legislation when it comes to that uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be on a federal level uh, so we'll have to wait and see you know uh, if they do go ahead and take those measures as well right Susan thanks for speaking to us thanks for joining us on we honor this hour Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.